Hello, welcome to IMHO. I am Darby Lynn Cartwright, and yes, I did age. And I'm joined today by someone who said they aged, but I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> Miss Lucy Stuhl! Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so glad to be here, love. Happy, happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday to you! Oh, shut up. <laughs> I was not waiting on that. Lucy and I were born literally two days apart. Two Same days. year. So the minute I turned 36 and the back pain started, I knew it was coming for her. And yeah. so I wanted, I wanted you here firsthand to get that. But before we do that, we do have our little birthday party. Oh. Uh, let's make a wish. Did it come true? Uh, I don't have a cop in my mouth yet, so no. Oh shit. <laughs> Curtis, Curtis, get to work, get to work. Someone help her, show. she's dying of thirst <laughs> over here. That's what we do at IMHO, you make a wish, <laughs> Curtis takes his pants off. I'm so glad that you are here doing this with me. I did a little tease on Twitter and I was like, we're gonna have this incredible guest. Some would say the best guest ever. And immediately people were like, it's Lucy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, it's the best drag queen in Chicago. And let's face it, ma'am, you are. Oh. You are, and you're gonna take it. I will take it this one time. For okay, me. okay, fine. Okay, it is a birthday. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. You have been super duper busy in this lockdown. Oh, yeah, God. it's pretty annoying. I thought I was gonna have more time to sleep, but it's, uh, especially these last few weeks, it's been like kind of nonstop all while wearing a mask, but <laughs> we're getting it figured out. True, true. Our audience has been following along with everything going on in Chicago and has been so welcoming to all of our guests and they're really excited to learn more and seeing all that you're doing and including like your conversation with Bob, which oh. it's my birthday, I'm gonna make it about me for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not the focus. That should not be the focus of this conversation. However, I want it on record. Bob the drag queen, said my name and called me that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> now, she did, she did, and you deserved it, darling. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, for allowing her to say that and not laughing. Well, you did laugh really loud, but um, <laughs> it was really exciting. You had an election recently, you have yes. officers, what's going on? Yeah, so the Chicago Black Drag Council is, uh, yeah, we just had our first nominations and everything. We're kind of just trying to get everything kind of solidified and bring in new people and figure out which bases we kind of need to be covering right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Smoking too much weed again, lately. I know, I know. That's what everyone thinks. I was like, it's just a weed smoker's cough. <laughs> it's okay. I've been tested a lot. All right. Yeah. Um, and yeah. by a lot of people. Yeah, yeah that is daily on a daily basis. Daily. <laughs> Yeah, but the work the council is doing is uh, pretty awesome. I'm excited for the uh, a lot of the stuff that we have coming up. But first and foremost, we're just trying to make sure that everyone knows this is a thing that is everlasting and it's not going anywhere. And there is uh, a lot more work to be done and that we're going to make sure that the work is done. So <laughs> Go to work. <laughs> I was like, it takes a lot. And I know some people thought this would be something we would forget about, but um, we're not. Wait, are you saying that we didn't cure racism? <laughs> no. What? I know, I, I know. I changed my name, Lucy. I know, I know. People thought it was it, but gosh, guess what? Gosh. There's more work to be done. Okay, I'll change my name again then, I but, guess. You know what? Cheers to Darby. Cheer. Darby's a funny it name. It is. It's a funny name. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers to that. I love all the people that have been commenting like, I'm so glad that you're changing your name, but can it be something other than Darby? <laughs> and my response is always, no. That is a hilarious name. There is a hard B for no reason. For none at all. It should not exist. For none at all. And it's Alexis's uncle's name. Really? That's how I got it. Oh, that makes it even fun. Not better. just her uncle's name. That was going to be her name. They were going to name Alexis Darby after the uncle. And a family friend was like, you can't do that. <laughs> she will be made fun of. Please don't do that to this kid. So they didn't name her that, but you know, she still got made fun of. So. You know, the first time I saw your name, I thought someone misspelled Darcy. And then I found out it was a real thing. And it made me love it even more. <laughs> no one, I will never go to a drag show and have another performer with that name. I won't walk into it. I will never meet another Darby. You're an original. Uh, a ri I mean, it was, you know, eight years after she started, but she, she got it together. Oh, congrats, by the way, on your new car, your new puppy, and your new phone. <laughs> 
She said, this bitch. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, though. Bitch. Thank you. Like, who would have thought in the middle of the quarantine? Like, the quarantine gives us time now, now that we're not going to bars and just being inundated with these random people kind of jumping on stage for a moment. And we're like, let's tip and let's, you know, now we're really focusing on the personalities that we were always drawn to. Mm -hmm. And you, of course, you're wonderful at drag, but your personality is so strong that when Chicagoans and people around the world who know of you, when they're stuck at home, they're like, who can I turn to immediately that will make me feel better, that I know is making a difference? And then you're one of those people. And now you got a car, a dog, and a phone. <laughs> she really did though. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? Yes. Okay. So she comes in and I'm like, how's your quarantine? You seem really busy. And she's like, yeah, I just got a new car. I was like, oh my God, that's so great. That's amazing. And then she's playing with JB and she's like, oh, you got to meet my dog. And I was like, oh, you got a new puppy. That's amazing. <laughs> and then we're setting up filming. And I was like, I is your phone better? Is your things. phone better than Curtis's? Cause he has like an older iPhone. She's like, oh yeah, I just got a new phone. And I was like, oh, congratulations. That's amazing. She just set me up. <laughs> Yeah, but I did see, say see, see, every single every one of those single things. Thing. <laughs> Not like a bitch, but <laughs> it was after you complimented my view. So thank yeah. you for that. You know, there's a view, y'all. This is the entire oh. city of Chicago oh. in this view. It was so funny when Dita was over here with her mask and standing six feet away from me. Her boyfriend <laughs> was also over here wearing a mask six feet away from me. Uh, by the way, <laughs> Dita's boyfriend. A babe. A babe. A babe. Uh, <laughs> Reed walked in and the first thing he said was, this view, it looks a lot like the view of my friend Mark's apartment. And I was like, oh my God, Mark's view? I love Mark's view. <laughs> and he goes, you know Mark? <laughs> no, Reed. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's super, super cute, so it's fine. Um, all right, so one thing that we've been doing is all of our ad revenue from all of our videos goes to Brave Space Alliance and the yes. Chicago Community Bond Fund. Yes. Um, do not skip the ads. I don't put that many in, okay? And I space them in perfect places where you're probably tired of hearing our voices anyway. Wow. So yeah, learn about erectile dysfunction or whatever. So y'all so, need to. I have no... <laughs> <laughs> I have noticed that ever since we've started and we said, watch the ads, our ad revenue has shot up. So thank you for watching the ads. It is so wonderful. Also, every week we are choosing a different organization in Chicago, putting our money where our mouth is. Um, and so far we have raised over $2,000. We gave to Asada's Daughters last week. Yes. This week we are giving to Black Lives Matter Chicago because Let's get back to basics, people. Black Lives Matter Chicago uh, is, I think Alexis intro introed it on her episode. And I know you didn't watch it because it was Alexis's episode, but we've been giving to them all week. So any tip that you give to at IMHO the show will go directly to Black Lives Matter Chicago. And IMHO family, we could not be prouder of you. You are giving. Last week, Asada's daughter, $340. Hell yeah. Just just for people watching TV. Hell yeah. Um, so let's do the same thing for Black Lives Matter Chicago. We can get that money up and we really appreciate that. In that vein, it is also our birthdays. So after you give to Black Lives Matter Chicago, Lucy, how can they tip you? Well, just like my Instagram, you can find me uh, to pay me anywhere, Venmo Cash App or uh, PayPal at Ty is Lucy Stool. That's T-Y-I-S-L-U-C-Y-S-T-O-O-L-E. That's actually her full drag name. Um, mm -hmm. She shortened it to Lucy Stool because we just... Everyone was stumbling all over it. I mean, it's just a mess. Ty is, are you kidding? And, you know, when you're giving to at IMHO the show on Venmo, uh, I, I control that. So if you put my name in it, I'll take that. But I do want to see your Black Lives Matter donation first. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. So let's get into this episode. This truly showed us why judges don't necessarily know what's happening. No. Was absolutely. this episode insane? This episode was, it made me feel insane. That's how yeah. insane it was. When I messaged Lucy and I was like, hey, why don't we do a birthday show? Like, do you want to come do this? We have Shay's win, which is like huge. And we're all like celebrating. So that could be fun for you to do, or we could do Canada. And I was fully expecting Lucy to be like, 
no, I, we got to talk about Shay. And she was like, girl, I've been going insane over camp. I've got to talk about <laughs> I have been. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm being gaslit when I'm watching that show. It's ridiculous. Gaslight or by the Darby Chicks. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm calling the Darby Chicks. I don't care. I agree. I don't care. Let's just get into it. We're just going to go through everything. Um, th when we get to the judges discussion, Lucy and I will both have heart attacks and uh, it'll be the end of the show. First and foremost, Anastasia. Oh. Gone. That was really sad to see. Really sad, but amazing. She didn't leave a message on the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't. And did we get any background on why? Like, no. was there a little chick? There was nothing, right? No. Tainomi was like, ooh, that is some c behavior. And I know, like, especially for Canada, that is c behavior. They're like, yeah. oh my God. Well, because you got to write a thank you note. Yeah. Thank you for eliminating me. <laughs> thank you for your critique. <laughs> After that, I also would be like, I'm the f about this bitch. Like, let me just go. Well, it's like when uh, Dahlia uh, on All Star, no, uh, no, she, no, on the regular show. She's regular. When she just Girl. walks out. She just walked out. <laughs> and I was like, no shit. That's yeah. what I would do too. F goodbye. No, I'm kidding. I would like make a fart joke and then be like, I hope that's on a t shirt and then I'd go home. I guess we find out that. Toronto girls are worried that they're dropping like flies. Pre's like, us Toronto girls gotta get our shit together. Oh, we yeah. gotta do better, we gotta do better. Have you been to Toronto? I have, I have. It was actually one of the first like uh, out of town bookings that I had and I got whisked away for a whole 18 hours and then uh, ended up missing my flight the next morning. <laughs> but I got straight back home. Uh, I ran into kimchi at the airport too. We both Shut were doing gigs in Toronto, yeah. But uh, I missed mine, but I ended up getting another flight. But yeah, it was actually one of my favorite uh, performances like around the world. I had such a good time. Their drag scene is so cool. Yeah. They're all really cool. It's very similar to Chicago too. Really? It has a real Chicago feel to it. The entire city like just feels like Chicago. Um, but especially their drag scene, it's like really varied. And there's a lot of people from all kind of aspects of drag and everyone's just kind of weirdo in a good way. Oh, I like that. Yeah. The only, I've never been to Canada because I'm just, you know, like I'm very American and everything's going really well here right now. And like, I don't want to like leave. It's going well. <laughs> um, but I did watch all, what was it? Eight episodes of The Real Housewives of Toronto. It was a failed spinoff. Wait a second, that was a real thing? Yes, bitch. I didn't, I've never seen that. Do you know why you've never seen that? Why? I'll do an episode right now. Okay. I heard you were talking about me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> oh my God. Come on. The like craziest person was the Christian, which I, uh, that tracks. That, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, so you you didn't miss anything. Oh, I do kind of want to see that though. I know. Okay, I'll send you the link. Yes. All right, so then we go to the next day. Tainomi, uh, she, it gives us a little, it's classic drag race foreshadowing. Mm -hmm. She goes in with a lot of confidence. Yeah. And she said, I can be in the bottom all day, but I will deliver in a lip sync. And I was like, oh, so she's going home this episode? The kiss of it's death. That kiss of death. The kiss of death. Can, can we really quickly talk about Tiny Wee Banks? Have you met her? I have. Okay. Yeah. I was talking to Chan about this on our episode last week that Drag race is not about who's a good drag queen, because Tainomi is a good drag queen. Oh, absolutely. And she is a legend. Absolutely. Drag race, Chan said this, but I'm gonna take credit for it because she's not here. Drag race is about who's the most adaptable. Absolutely. So when I see her on TV just falling apart, I get it because mm. you are good and you just want to show the world that you're good and this weird adaptable monsters like attacking you from all sides yeah does your heart break for her a little it does it does absolutely i think the great thing about tainomi though is that no matter what people know that like legacy and mm -hmm. anyone who's ever actually met her like seen her perform this show doesn't really matter this show no. doesn't really f matter no <laughs> it really doesn't if you're a smart enough queen and know what to do with that you will be absolutely fine. And I And if you're not smart enough, uh, you make a review show and just talk about it. And well, then you'll be fine. <laughs> or you do like me and start a sex toy line. You know, you figure it out. <gasps> oh shit. You oh you've got out. you've got a new well well it hasn't been released yet. But you're releasing a new But yeah, I will I will drop it. It's called the Big Mama. And it is the biggest toy we have in the line. 
I'm so excited. <laughs> well, yeah, I had so many of my like awesome slutty friends when they were like, I need a bigger one. And I was like, okay, well, let's get to work. And she has a circumference of a 12 ounce can, pretty Got much. It. I think it's about like either nine or 10 inches long. So yeah, it does a, uh, it, it does the job. It'll get things done. It I'll really, tell you that. It really does. Um, so I turned 36 two days before you, and on your actual 36th birthday, I was at the doctor getting my anal pap smear. So <laughs> oh, kids, the joys. Kids, we are loaded with HPV these days. Get your anal pap smear. Please. It's a real thing that you have to do. It really and is. it's not bad if your doctor's hot. Just make sure you're ready. A hot doctor can make a lot of things easier. Yeah, uh, Curtis goes to him now as well because he had been my doctor, and he's like, "How did you, how did you find him? Because he's only at this practice once a week." And I was like, "He was, took our insurance, and I saw a picture of what he looked like. <laughs> he's not bad looking." I am that right, girl, Curtis. So. Say it. Uh, yeah, if you're into attractive. <laughs> If gorgeous doctor. If you're into gorgeous doctors. <laughs> like men with stable income. Oh, oh, holy shit. Thank you. Thank you so much, actor boyfriend. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> My favorite part of this entire series walks in the room. Stacy McKenzie. Oh my god. Her f voice. I wish I sounded like her. Can you do a Stacey McKenzie? Uh, 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 there's like this gravel to Please. it that I can't like. <laughs> there's just, the minute she starts talking, you just sit up a little. Honestly. Queens, it is no time. I'm obsessed with her, her voice, her face, her fashion. We don't deserve her. We really don't. But give her her own show. Please. Can we do something? Pretty please. Literally just her talking. It doesn't have to, there has, there's no point to the show. Mm -mm. She's just saying words and wearing fashion. Of oh course. God, I'd be so here for that. Like so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So she welcomes in, we get to see for the first time the entire pit crew from Canada. Yeah. Thoughts. Cute. Cute. But, <laughs> but, I was like, oh, that's cute. But in the first, Grouping, we get the usual pit crew muscles, and we're like, okay, great, you have an eight pack. Yeah. And then we get a cute little cute, cute, cute oh, boy. Beautiful brown chubby boy. Are you kidding me? And then I was like, oh wow. I was like, I cannot wait to see what comes out. And then it was, is <laughs> <laughs> well, like a lot of eight packs. Yep. So Canada, good try. It was a good try. It was you a really good try. You know they put him at the front of the line. They were like, we need to make sure everyone's, can we get you to the front, please? Like, they're gonna feel so comfortable and be so excited about that. They're not even gonna notice that all that seven other guys are gonna <laughs> Yeah, they're not gonna <laughs> notice that we just carbon copied seven other uh, abs. Good, good, good start. Good start, good Canada. Good start, Canada. Good start. Still braver than fucking US would be. I'm sorry. Are you saying that RuPaul's Drag Race is discriminatory in any way, shape, or form? I... I, as a cis white drag queen, <laughs> I must protest. <laughs> um, did you hear a rumor that Ru's not gonna continue on after season 13? I did hear that. Stacey McKenzie's Drag Race. Oh my God. Hello. You <laughs> heard me? <laughs> That's actually a pretty, <laughs> pretty good, good. Okay. Right. <laughs> So they have to play the game. It's a game they played on US Drag Race before, matching the underwear. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. LOL, LOL, LOL. Priyanka did have a pretty good line where she said, this looks like all the boys who blocked me on Grindr. Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> accurate. My Grindr days, I remember like, I'd, I'd pose as masculine as I possibly could, you know? I'd be like, Miss Masculine? Uh, and then the minute they'd be like, can I call you? I'd be like, oh God, oh God. Here oh it God. goes. <laughs> Hi. Are you there? Daddy? But. The game, it's fine. Match underwear. Yeah. Cool, colors. Jimbo wins, and Jimbo wins a stay at a Hilton. Yeah. <laughs> they all just win nights at a Hilton, which I guess is better than what they got in the UK, which was nothing. So yeah. how did we feel about Jimbo? I am obsessed with Jimbo. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna say it. It's, it's gonna be controversial. It's gonna be somewhat brave. I think that's my favorite queen on Canada's Drag Race. I just have to say it. Does this window open in the air? <laughs> I just have to say it. She's my fucking favorite. She's she's my favorite. She's my pick to win. Yeah, Chan and I honestly. have yeah. Chan and I have a bet. She has Priyanka. I, have I love Priyanka also. 
Chicago loves Priyanka. Chicago also. loves Priyanka. Come to Chicago, Priyanka. You'll love it here. Come back. And please. then Jimbo, move in with me, please. Okay. Oh so we find out that they are going to make trash into outfits. They have paper, plastic, or metal because it's all about recycling because we got to save the turtles. We want to make sure no one misses out. Are you a big recycler? I am a big recycler. Oh, really? What's your favorite thing to recycle? Sex toys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but that costs extra, I so you know why. This <laughs> Jimbo's big prize is, is she gets to assign the groups. Paper, plastic, or metal? Gut instinct, what would you go for? I would go for paper. I would go for paper. I said the same thing. I'd and then after I watched the episode, I was like, well, maybe plastic's easier to work with because you can hot glue it. That is true. But I've worked with a lot of paper before. Yeah. And I know you can do some dynamic things with paper if you uh, use some creativity in your fucking brain. Or if you're friends with Vixen and she's nearby. Oh, holy shit. Like, she. It blows my mind. Blows my mind. Like architectural, just like garments made out of paper. And then she's not only able to like make them, she's able to wear them. Yeah. Like they're on her body and she moves and they don't fall apart. Yeah. It's gross. Okay. <laughs> you were on TV. <laughs> I'm in a literal t-shirt and straps. <laughs> Yeah, I would say that too, but then after seeing how well plastic like moved and they were able to like glue it, I was like, yeah. well, that might be good. But I think we both agree metal would not be it. No. Metal would not be the moment. Metal would not be the moment. Another foreshadowing moment, Tainomi and Alona are laughing at Bobo as she kind of struggles to put her stuff together. And yeah. they're kind of talking shit. And I was like, we get it. They're gonna be in the bottom. Yep, we understand. In trouble, we know. <laughs> we know, we know. I do love a good moment where a producer goes, hey, we're running out of things to film. <laughs> Would you mind making fun of her? And hey, can they make fun of you? Okay, great. Go go for it. It's like those <laughs> drag race moments when someone comes out of somewhere, just out of nowhere, and it's like, so how was middle school for you? Uh, that is one of my favorites. What? <laughs> like what? Kelly Mantle's conversation. Oh my God. <laughs> the producer's like, ask Vivacious what her childhood was like growing up in Jamaica. And I'm all like, I don't have time. I'm trying to put my makeup on. Right. And they're like, no, you have to. And I'm like, Vivacious, what was your childhood like in, in, in Jamaica? And she's like, oh mama, it was terrible. They tried to drown me in the ocean. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, that's so awful. Oh, Kelly Mantle. Brit put her on All Stars. I'd watch the shit out of that. Honestly, what a big mistake to not be including some of those characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could go on about that. Y'all already know, but like. But that's the thing we see through Jujube. Like mm -hmm. Jujube was killer TV. Yeah. And Kelly Mantle, that's a character. That is an absolute character. I want to see her on TV. I would love to give her a longer chance. Yeah. Yeah. To be she on television. It. Have you seen the stuff that she's done with, uh, what's that other? crazy one from RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh God, that's so, there's so few crazy ones. The, she does these acting skits on her Instagram. With, no, they're uh, whole films. They're like Tammy? amazing. Yes, with Tammy. Yes. The Browns. Yes, she's yes. so great on the Browns. She's so great on the Browns. Yeah. Then we get into paper and Alona wants to do Sherbert Showgirls, which how many times have we done that? Ooh, yeah, that literally nice. that's like every drag queen go to. Yep. Actually, my first, my first moment dressed as a showgirl was for an event you hired me. Oh, that's right! Yes! That was our first time working together. That hotel gig, that was fun. That was fun. That was a lot was of you, fun. me, Vixen, and then we had- Miss Tosh was Miss there. Tosh, yeah, yeah, burlesque girl. We, uh, so I get in the room, I'm the first one there besides Lucy. She was on time, y'all. I w well, I, well, because it didn't take long to do whatever I knew how to do to my face. <laughs> And I walk in and she's getting painted. And I was like, hey, I'm so excited to be here. Like, I'm so excited to like work with you for the first time. It's gonna be great. And she was just like, this is just fun. Like, this is don't, cause I was like, what do I need to do? do I, and you were like, this is fun. And I was like, can I, and I like, I can drink and stuff. And you were like, yeah, it's fun. Can we? Yeah. <laughs> can we Yeah, ever? can we? It was, it was great. Post picture here. 
then uh, they decide to do recycling royalty instead because Jimbo already has an idea for her outfit and Jimbo's not about to change her idea. Jimbo's like, this is what's happening, bitches. I mean, kind of fun. I wonder if Jimbo's a Leo. I wonder. It's, it, she's gotta be in the same club. I kind of feel it. Yeah. I kind of feel it. I wonder. Do you ever get a little like, because, okay, let's be honest. If you look at like a, a horoscope chart and they're talking about Leos, yeah. it's always like loud, center of attention, <laughs> yeah. dominant. Yeah, but also, did you have to call me out like that? Yeah, I'm like, damn. Do yeah, you I'm really called. identify with Leo? I, it was something like, at first, like horoscopes and the zodiac and all of that, I was kind of like, oh, I don't really know. Um, and seeing it more as like a science and a lot of people who know more like about it, I think there's a little something behind it. And every time, baby, so many people have got like down what a Leo is on me. And I'm like, bitch, that is me too. Yeah. The T. Whenever people put up memes of like what a Leo is and they're like, look at what this monster is. I'm like, yeah. 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 Well, don't forget the Leo is the ruler of the Zodiac. You don't <gasps> know that? No, I did not know that. The lion. Hello. Oh, yeah. We run Oh, to. yeah. Fuck all of you. We are. <laughs> We're Mufasa and Scar, bitch. <laughs> we run shit. Yeah, but Scar always looked like a little tired and too skinny. I'm Scar. Well, right? I mean, I kind of like when boys look like girls. Yeah. <laughs> then they go out to the runway <clears throat> to walk with Stacy. Yeah. You have to runway walk with Stacy McKenzie. And sure, she's sweet and kind and wonderful. But she, that bitch knows how to walk. Yes. Would you be so nervous? Um, I would not, just because I know I have a killer walk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. We're in Leo season, so sorry. That's I'm true. at full fucking blue. That's I'm true. like, bitch, I know I'm the shit. Actually, but still, I would be very fucking Well, nervous. I was watching and I was like, I was like, ooh, this is kind of nerve wracking. And then I saw Jimbo walk. And I was ooh. like, that's why, that's oh. why I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> that's that. me. Oh, that poor tragic walk. Oh, she's poor like, Jimbo. And she's like, don't worry. I'll make a giant dress where you can't see my body moving anyway. <laughs> Smart. Maybe that, yeah, maybe that was Smart part of the plan. So we go to the elimination day. We're getting ready, which also is called trauma talk. So we're getting into what happened to you as a child? Alona and Tainomi, uh, they're like, hey, we're going to be in the bottom. Let's chat. So they're chatting about how in high school, they got bullied, but their straight girls fought for them. Their straight girls fought the bullies. I'm loving now that we're we're understanding, we've always understood, we're accepting the fact that sexuality is a spectrum. Mm -hmm. But as a 36 year old, looking back, were you not just like surrounded by girls? Like were you- Oh, the entire time. Yeah, the entire time. The entire, entire time. time. The entire time. I was in love with women in every single way. Yeah. Every single one. There just wasn't a moment, and I remember even like my mom would make me go on sleepovers with my brother because my brother had all the boy friends, <laughs> and I'd be like, I mean, sure. <laughs> it's good to know that a lot of other parents did that too because my parents were obviously like, you're gonna hang out with your cousin, the one who has, uh, you know, guy friends, yeah, and plays like football and stuff, yeah. And I would. What was your thing? Like, what was your thing in high school? What was my thing in high school? I was acting. I was in. I was also um, in choir cool. since I was in elementary school. Do you know who I was in choir with in high school? Mm -mm. Janelle mm -hmm. Monet. Yes, the Janelle Monet. We went to high school together. We're good friends. Um, I need to open this one. Down. That's the caliber of musicians I went to like high school with. Like, I had some of the best singers in the world, including Janelle. Monet in my choir class. So I spent years with her, like traveling the country, like singing Robert Ray and all kind of other like classical bullshit. So yeah, I'm also a singer, but I don't do it anymore. <sighs> do you know who was in my high school choir with me? Who? This guy that drowned. <laughs> oh, no. Was it the one that RuPaul saw? <laughs> <laughs> It's who RuPaul could have saved. Oh, uh, y'all don't understand. When we're 36, we've yeah. lived a life. Lives. Lives. <laughs> so we get that. We also get that Rita and Scarlet Bobo are the only mothers left. They're the yeah. only mothers of drag family. Mm -hmm. You're a mother. I am. Tell I, us about your kids. I have some unruly children. I have uh, three uh, mixed race children. <laughs> they all are. I was like, how did that happen? Well, it's because their mom 
a lot of white men, yeah. and that's how it happens. So uh, she, she honestly won't stop. <laughs> but um, Ari Gato, Degrassi Noel, and Joe Mama are like my official children. They're part of the uh, outhouse of stool, as I like to call it. Bitch, I had Ari Gato as my guest a couple weeks ago, and IMHO was like, "Who is this goddess?" And I was like, "Thank y'all. You know who I am." <laughs> I cannot like, tell you me, how quickly they just wanted me to move out of the way. They were like, <laughs> Ari's here. Ari is, I mean, all of your drag kids are amazing, but Ari's magic. She really is magic. magic. I mean, she's like one of the best performers I know. Yeah. An, an actor, she does it all. She does everything. I did a, um, I did Camilla Fox's like brunch show and Ari did uh, Memory from Cats. Oh my God. Which should be the longest song in the world, and you're just like, God, can it be over? But then I was like, Can you do more? Can yeah. you do it again? She's so good. She's so good. She's one of my favorites. I, you know, as working drag queens, we always have people come up and say, Will you be my drag mom? Mm -hmm. But I never felt like I had my shit together enough to be able to be like, Yeah, of course I will, because I've always felt like there's something, something's wrong here. But Mickey Mirage. Uh, I was the first person to help her get into drag. Yay! Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I love and, Mickey. And she did a show, she did IMHO with Alexis last week, and she's like, she's kind of my unofficial drag mom. And I was like, an already established, well-known, talented drag queen, I'll take it. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Yes, so I just want to announce, she told me to make it official on the episode. Uh, congratulations, <gasps> Mickey, you're official. We're done. Oh my God, Darby's with child. I mean, no, and she's done so many amazing things. I like, couldn't possibly, if anything, she's my mom at this point. <laughs> we find out that uh, Scarlett Bobo's drag mom, Jeanette Bobo, suddenly passed away oh, before yeah, she was on the show. Yeah, that was so sad to hear. So sad. Sad to hear. Dita's drag mother has also passed. I was just kind of starting into the drag scene when she passed and the community, Chicago, just like mourned her, her loss. Absolutely. That was another queen that I looked up to, like yeah. when, before I even started drag, even before I even knew that I wanted to do drag, everyone knew Tajma, like, and just like one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life to this day. Love your loved ones, please mm -hmm. reach out, unless your loved ones are assholes. Like, I, you, you don't have to talk to my dad. He's a piece of shit. You don't have but, to talk to any of your dads. No. Mm -mm. Piece of shit. Honestly, no. But you can talk to like other people's dads yeah. and like get weird with it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever slept with a friend's dad? <sighs> Not yet. Girl. Not yet, but it's let me tell you, I am open to it. It's life changing. I am more than open to it because some of y'all have some really hot fathers. That's true. Some really hot Put fathers. Put that on record. And some of y'all dads ain't even that much older than me. Like, <gasps> We are We're at the 36 point. 36 years old. 36 okay. years old. We have been putting our seed. We have been waiting to harvest. But then we realized the seed was in that guy's mouth. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what did we do with that yeah, seed? Yeah, what did we do? What did we do with that? When I was in college, I met a, not a friend, but someone I knew from high school's dad on Grindr. Oh, or no, hot. no, not Grindr, uh, Craigslist. That's hot. And uh, he didn't want to hook up with me because he recognized me as like, <gasps> his child's, like, friend-ish. I mean, we knew each other, but I was like, here's all the reasons you should, and here's a picture of my butthole. And then we did. Yeah. Come on. There is nothing worse than a horny twink. Like, as a former twink, we're the worst. We're the worst. Is that true? The worst. Literally like cats in heat, they're like, rub on you. Anyway, I got all got that it. out of my system, and now I'm with Curtis, and like, I don't let him touch me. So it works. <laughs> Oh, Mary. All right, should we take this to the runway? Runway? Run, 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 <sighs> runway? Let's take it to Have the runway. Have we drank enough? That's yeah, what, that's I was it. like, I am oh, oh. Do you remember the looks, or do we need to pull up? Because I have it on the TV. I, I remember, remember them all so clearly and vividly in yeah. my head. I could recall each single yeah. one. Okay, so this was the right episode. <laughs> It um, really was like I can I I I go over them sometimes at okay. night in my sleep because I'm like what what did I miss did I did see something different how, how did, did we get, get to there? this point I don't get it before we get into get their it. their looks though Curtis you can do that look at him Ooh. being respectful well, and shit to, you know like, this is all quality content I didn't want to this oh, is a good one this is a good, good one. one thank you darling. <laughs> 
This is why I allowed him to let me buy my own engagement ring. Oh. It was a, it was truly a gift for him, let's be honest. Before we get into their their looks, uh, I do just need to quickly talk about Stacey McKenzie's runway look. Okay, now that. That fitted suit, that mm. pattern, that mm. flair. Only you should be allowed to walk down the runway, Stacey. Well, let's open it up and we will have Honestly. the other judges just sitting down. But Stacey, Thank you. come out three times. Do their <laughs> runway walk for them. <laughs> Would you die if each time they cut to it, it's just her again? It's just her again, like, hi. She looked amazing. Then their their guest host was the designer, uh, Bedell. It's like Adele, but like if she was like left in the sun. I was wondering who Bedell. that was. I was like, yeah. I'm missing something here. Yeah, he walks out, he has a reveal. Oh, bitch. And in, and in true Drag Race reveal form, where he walks out and we're like, what do you have on? I was like, why would you wear that yep. like workman's f***ing one piece on Miss Drag Race? Girl, but, but isn't that kind of like what we're getting now when, you know, Miss Cracker walks out as an actual egg? Like, you know that like- <laughs> An actual f Egg. egg. You know that like something's coming. Yeah. You know the category is single use queens. Now have I've never related to a name so much. Let's be honest. So we're gonna get into it. And here's what I just want to open with. Lucy wants the best for all of you. Okay. I, really do. I don't, but she does. <laughs> so everything we're saying is just fun opinions about making trash dresses. Yeah. So we start with the plastic. So Scarlet mm -hmm. Bobo came out. She had like the dramatic kind of like punky makeup, but then she also kind of had this like spray painted, which we saw her do it. We saw her yeah. spray. I thought she looked really good. You didn't? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Let me. Let me okay. You know what? She looked the best on her teeth. We'll take that. This is where one of the big problems with me is. Okay. I didn't like any of the plastics. I did not think they should have won. I thought it, oh, I don't, it just looked horrible. I don't think they should have won, but I, I'm i not gonna fault Bobo. I think Bobo did really good. I'm not gonna fault Bobo. I yeah. love Bobo. I've met Bobo before too, and that's another one of my like queens out there in Toronto. Yeah. I think that she looked the best out of the group and they worked with it well. And even though it looked like somebody had maybe tagged the side of a building that had, you know, you know, a, a plastic gate around it and they just wrapped it around themselves and went for it. I think they Lucy. worked with what they had. I think they worked with what they had. Okay, but can, can we say can we say this though, that I wasn't offended by the collection as a whole as much as you were apparently, but I was offended that Rita won. I was like, are you? That was definitely. You could see her corset covered in glitter. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. I really don't know where that came from. Bizarre. Bizarre. Speaking of bizarre, we go into metals, and I kind of died over Boa's metal diaper. I loved it! That's what I said! <laughs> and even the fact that she caught it out was like, it's a big metal diaper. But I was like, bitch. I think that panty goes with that little skirt and, and then like- she put that shit on and they open? Yeah, the, the strainers, like bitch. that's so cool. When Brooklyn Heights said, you need more, you need a bolero. I was like, you do not, bitch. She didn't. And what she was basically saying is, you're, you're showing fat. your fat arms. Yeah. <laughs> and I love Brooklyn, like too. But I was like, girl, you basically just say, you're showing your fat arms and you need to cover them up. <laughs> Someone tweeted a couple days ago and I just, I don't even think I retweeted it because it just spoke too true. I love playing the game of, is it fashion or is it a skinny white girl? And I was like- Hello, hello. Because like, I'm that telling you, is Gigi good? Yo, okay. woo. and I love me some Miss Gigi too. Same, I same. love me some Miss Gigi. We love Gigi good. We love Gigi good. Gigi's mom <laughs> watches our show, bitch. I love Gigi's mom. You know, I've known Gigi since before she could get into the club because, like she said, her uncle he works in big chicks, and he's like the f***ing sweetest up. guy ever. He's one of my favorite people in the world, and is like such a big supporter of like my drag too and drag in general, like. Yeah, he's, he's a super fucking sweetheart. But I think we do need to have some real fucking talks about how there's a lot of queens that can get away with wearing beautifully tailored things, but they're very simple. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that's changing the world. But if a black queen or a bigger queen or someone tries to do the same thing, it's 
usually not met with the same response. No, it's not. And it's not only not met with the same response, saying. but it's met with a very loud critique. <clears throat> I loved what Bo was wearing. <clears throat> For me, it was a standout. <laughs> like, it was! It was a she looked great. She looked really good. She looked amazing. Priyanka. Can... Stan Priyanka. Can we say that out loud? We stand. Priyanka. Stan Priyanka. Chicago stands. Stan Priyanka. However, what did the judges see? What I, were they looking at that we weren't? I. <laughs> that fucking imagine? skeleton of the umbrella. Like, I, I, I got what she was going for. <clears throat> that was the most redeemable part of the outfit for Actually, me. Actually, and that, that is very true. That was the most redeemable part that of the outfit. That dress, that dress that she literally held on to the whole time. To keep it on. And Boa, by the way, is marching down the runway, throwing her dress up, opening her titties. Everything is staying on. Yeah. But Boa's isn't okay. But Priyanka, who's walking at the pace of, well, Priyanka, it's, <laughs> they're just ignoring that. They are. <laughs> I mean, we stand Priyanka, we love you, but, Oh. That was a that was a real misstep. Real misstep. I feel like honestly she should have been one of the one of the ones in the bottom. I agree. One. I I'm agree. Sorry. I'm and the sorry, judges Bri. were losing their minds. They said, oh, "I had to grab her arm." We were like, oh, "Fashion." Stacy McKenzie was the arm that she grabbed. Yeah. Stacy. Disappointed. I'm kidding. I love you, Stacy. You're fine. It's fine. You just do whatever you want. <laughs> then we get into our last metal queen, which is Lemon. So then we go into paper. <laughs> I don't even remember that look. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I like her. Yes. I like her. I like her on the show. Why I think she's it, great on the why show. Why are all the looks like not memorable to me? No. Like it's, it's hard for me to remember something except for that damn lemon tree, but that's only because it looks so weird. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> And she literally, like, just, she was like, I'm just going to be a tree trunk. Yeah. <laughs> what? She put on that brown dress. That brown, brown dress. And not even a 70s, an 80s fabric. <laughs> that fabric, I truly felt I... like my nail would pop through it. <laughs> Can you imagine? That tree was riding from the inside. Oh, I'm God. Sorry. But, yeah, okay, so I just remembered what her look was for metals, and she unrolled like the scour pads, basically. Yes, rose gold. I like the idea pads. of that. I like the idea of that a lot. I feel like there could have been a lot more to it, though. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty. It just, you're standing next to, again, I'm sorry to harp on it, you're sitting next to Boa, yeah. who made a diaper and a dress and these huge funny titties. Like, yeah. she did all this work and you just unwrapped and wrapped it around your body. Uh-huh. And then, was what was that thing about her being like, you know, maybe if you had like a panty and then she pulls it back. And, and she like, had a panty. Oh, word. And I was like, did that make it better? I like it. What? I, I'm confused. I think we really should though. I think we're seeing this it's working out well. I think we should have more people who have lost Drag Race start hosting other drag races. <laughs> sorry. Stan Brooklyn, sorry. <laughs> They've all been tough. The runways have been tough this season. Every single one. Every single one. Every single one. Then we get to my winner of the competition, but their loser, the paper. Yeah. We get to what I think was the most incredible look of the night, which was Alona. Yes, it looked like a costume. However, it looked like a costume straight out of a bag. She turned trash into something that looked so finished, I thought she bought it. Yeah, no, yeah. Honestly, I thought the same thing. I was like, those paper guard looks look like something from Party City and not in a bad way. It's the best Tainomi has ever looked, first of all. It was a fantastic look on her too. Alona looked I'm sorry. gorgeous. Tainomi walks out and I was like, the color combination, yeah. the hair. Yeah. I was like, I want I want you to respond to this. Cause I was feeling, I just got goosebumps. I I, me too, oh my God. I was I just like, oh my God. Like I That happens at 36, by the way. At 36, you just start, you your body goosebumps. just starts 
busting out. <laughs> and then we had our queen who we love. So let's start with that. Yep. Zombie queen Jimbo. Jimbo looking so fucking great. Here's my issue. My issue was, I never want to agree with Canada's Drag Race judges, but I did think her face and her hair was a little wild. I will give you that. I right? will give you that. But with all of the, what I loved was that she took those balls, she put them on her shoes, she put them on her shoulders. I was like, bitch, if you had just been dripping with it from the top of your head, it's all I would have talked about. I think also if there would have been some break in between like all the white like hair and like face, there should have been some more color. Mm -hmm. Her hair should have been pink. And I'm not just saying Correct. that because like, it's my favorite thing in the world. Yeah. Her hair should have been pink, especially the contrast with that white. Ugh. What's funny though, is that like her other make it challenge with the zippers, it's like the same kind of big, you know, billow, you know, big oh, you're right. rounded dress. Yeah. And I thought it was bizarre that the judges didn't bring that up. I mean, not that it was bad per se, but how many times on American Drag Race do we hear like, your silhouette's the same. Your silhouettes. Miss Vanjie, are you kidding? I was talking to Alexis yesterday and I was like, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna wear uh, for Lucy's thing. She just, she wore this on her last episode. <laughs> and so I ordered the wig and I sent it to her and I said, you're making that for me. So this is the exact same hair she wore. It's cute. I was like, well, you just gave me that purple wig. And she goes, yeah, don't wear your pink one. And I was like, well, fuck you. And she goes, no, 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 pink is Lucy's thing. And I was like, <laughs> You're true right, that, you're right, that, true. true Overall, out of all of the teams, who was your winner? Plastic, metal, or paper? Paper. Paper. Okay. Paper was my winner. I was so confused Hands that paper, down paper was not in the top. Hands I mean, down. just the construction that they had out of paper? Correct. I don't get it. The winner was Plastics and Rita, specifically, mm -hmm. which just really blew my mind. Now, I got a lot of flack from Chan about this, but do you remember Rita's first Make It Look? It was that big coat with the little mittens on it that she revealed into just oh, like yeah, that blue yeah. dress. I hated it yeah, so it much. I thought it looked so bad and she won that. And now this happened and when I could see, okay, when I saw her glitter on just a corset, not even the material she was supposed mm. to be using, her corset. When I saw that was visible, I was like, oh, she's done. And they're like, congratulations. We didn't see what you looked like. You win. What the? What was your winner of the overall? Hmm, that's tough actually. So top I two, definitely, top two. My top two would have been Jimbo for the dress and construction. Okay. And then probably, I think there'd be a tie between one of her guards and uh, Boa. Boa, yeah. Yeah, my top Because I also really loved Boa's look. I loved Boa's look. I loved Boa's look. And like you said before, like the fact that Boa <laughs> walks out, she is flitting it around, <laughs> living her life, and she says in her voiceover, In it, y'all. I'm wearing a diaper. Yeah. You know, I was like, like, I love it. Yeah. Like, I, I, have love a, it. I have a tie between, honestly, Boa and Alona. Mm -hmm. I thought Alona looked so incredible. And you know what's crazy is Alona's been giving us these pastel light kind of colors. Which you know I love. Well, I can't wear the wig. Like, uh, <laughs> She took this challenge that's so weird and she still made it very much her own. Yeah. She brought like her colors to it. Why are we not talking about, why are we, what? So we go to like backstage uh, so everyone can cry. Oh, before we do that though. <laughs> so everyone can cry. Before we do that though. I have something to say. Jeffrey, there was something about the, what was it? Was it the way that you said it? I'm not sure. But telling Jimbo, who delivered an amazing look, perhaps not completely well styled, mm -hmm. but when Jimbo tries to explain to you, because you're having a conversation, by the way, she explains to you what happened, your response is to, everyone has the same time. Use your time better, do better. And then that little snarky. I know that all judges kind of do. Why did we react to that? What do you think that was? I was trying to figure that out too, because some people were like, oh, you know, well, USA is like just that harsh. And there's like these other moments where, you know, judges like have to do things like that. I think I responded to it so much because to me, it felt like that catty fat twink that like, I'd be like, <laughs> that would come up to me and say something that like wasn't even necessarily true or like needed in that moment. And you're like, 
Excuse me? I mean, that was just hateful. I do want to say, not to like derail this, but I do want to thank you for looking at me when you said back twink. Um, <laughs> but yes, it was just so, and I think too, when they came back on stage and they were announcing like the tops and the bottoms, and whatever, it was Jeffrey that was like, First of all, I have never seen a let's get the bottom three together that takes so long. It was yeah. like a 10 minute oh thing. Oh He's like, God. your outfit was made of paper. What? But now it's time. I was like, what, what are you doing? I just think overall, we got a little too much of him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Curtis goes, who is he? And I was like, he was on a Lifetime show that got canceled after two seasons. He was like, oh, I was like, yeah. I don't think Canada has a lot going on right now. <laughs> He's really feeling himself on that show. Feeling <clears throat> himself. Like, and just running, girl. I don't know, too. It was like bad, Jeffrey. That eyeliner got on, and she was yeah. just like, yeah. mean. This <gasps> oh, yeah. Maybe that's what it is. It was that eyeliner, It's magical. We go to the back. Um, everyone's crying. Uh, Tainomi's <laughs> crying again, which was honestly heartbreaking as fuck. Yeah, that um, was there. I just want to reach through the TV and be like, you're an amazing drag queen. Everyone loves you. But the best part was seeing Alona break down. She started yelling at everybody. And oh Jimbo's like, how are, you, how are you allowed to yell? <gasps> Who gave you this power? That was another one of those like beautiful moments of correct like retribution on that show that we need to see. More so just because I'm like, when people start acting like that, I'm like, I wish that there was someone to be like, do you see yourself right now? <laughs> okay, can I say this? Can I say this? Jimbo's 37. I see. do feel like there is something, like you're older, you've been in the business for no, a yeah, while. Absolutely. She's younger. Like there does, there are times where you talk to the younger girls of like, I know this seems very real to you right now, but that's not what's happening. Mm -hmm. And and you can't see it when you're younger. Are no, you kidding? No. I've almost been arrested at a 7-Eleven. That's yeah. how insane your 20s are. <laughs> like, honestly, y'all. Honestly. And like, literally, I, I like, at least me, and I love at least me and this one over here too. Like, we are not trying to like, yuck your yum. We mm -hmm. want you to have your fucking fun. Be wild and fucking spontaneous, but like, listen to us old bitches sometimes. Every now and then. Our <laughs> stories from our 20s, they're fun. And they're fun to sit back with your friends and like chat about like, listen to this really crazy, th I fucked my high school friend's dad. Like, <laughs> that's a hilarious. Yeah. Should it have happened? No, but it's fine. I just love though that Alona, I think was still screaming out of anger and everyone just started laughing. That and was ended. my favorite part because yeah. Literally, that's how I react when that person is like having a meltdown and just not being like, yeah. you just can't like get to them at all. I'm just like, I'm just gonna sit here and laugh because they're, you're just gonna go off on that. Yeah. And that was so, so funny. Good. That was so good. So good. And it's kind of what you do when a child page. is like acting up. You're like, yeah. I'm not even gonna give you that attention. No. Once that had all kind of settled, they go back to on stage. We find out the bottom two are Alona and Tainomi. It makes no sense to anyone who was watching the show. I'm sorry. Um, they're going to lip sync to Avril Lavigne. <laughs> Is there <laughs> any artist you could think of other than Avril Lavigne to say, we want the black girl to go home? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what? Legitimately. Legitimately. <laughs> and on the runway, as she's having a breakdown, they just keep talking about how wonderful she is. She's such a great performer and you gotta be you, be you, be you. By the way, could you perform Avril Lavigne yeah. tonight? It oh. was fine. It was fine. It was fine. It was fine. It was fine. And I don't want to see Alona go. Like, I, I do feel like Tainomi is not a good fit for the show. I, I just, whatever's happening right now, she's kind of so far removed from the persona that she is mm -hmm. that I think for her own sake, her own mental health, yeah. it probably needed to be her to go. Yeah. And I love Alona, but I am gonna call a little bit of shenanigans on them choosing. I mean, I guess they could have chosen Fancy by Reba McIntyre. <laughs> I would be the first to say too, like there are some queens that like can do like any song. Mm -hmm. You can pull any song out and I don't care if they turn it into a joke or it's sexy or blah, 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 they, they can do it. But in some of these situations- talking, Just to be clear, you were talking about me, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's like some situations where you know that they're like, 
Oh, they're setting this bitch up. Yeah. <laughs> they are setting this bitch. They're pulling a patch, as the girls say. Tainomi, we believe in you, and we believe we really so much in you. We're going to give you Avril Lavigne. <laughs> Show us what you got. But Tainomi, oh, truly, and you're not watching this. I don't know why I'm talking to you, but she is a stellar star. And if anything, her performance in Drag Race showed the flaws in the show more than her. That's good. I think everyone is so team Tainomi and we were all so sad to see her go. Yeah. I hope she's found a little peace in all of it. I'm, sure, think, she I'm sure she has. I'm sure she has. She's got to have a good system around her. And or she's, everyone she's that bitch. She's yeah. that bitch. And like even going home on the show, I know I may hit you for a second, but she's that bitch. She's good. Yes. She's good. So that is end up most mm. frustrating episode yet. <sighs> What are you thinking of, of Canada so far? Like, what's your overall? I like Canada, but yeah, with the judges and the way that they've been judging, I'm just like, there's some sort of like disconnect that I don't understand. And I almost was wondering, is it because it's like Canadian? That's and, what... and there's like a different like viewpoint or like judging thing that maybe I'm not like clicking on, but I do enjoy it. I do really enjoy the show. Well, I thought the same thing, but then, like, you know, Brooklyn competed in American Stra America's Drag Race. Like, yeah. Brooklyn had kind of the same opinions, I felt, that we all did. So, I don't know, maybe you get up to Canada. It's it's so high. It's You can't... It's you can't the, make proper judgment. It's, yeah, the air quality when your brain... That's science, Mama. That's science. Mama. Mama. <laughs> science. Science, Mauma. End of episode. Lucy could not be more thrilled to have you here. As a reminder, Lucy and I are celebrating birthdays. So after you send money to IMHO, the show that we can give to Black Lives Matter Chicago, you are also going to be tipping Lucy on her birthday. Can you remind everyone once again <clears throat> how we do that? You can find me on Cash App and Venmo and PayPal at... Ty is Lucy Stool. T Y I S L U C Y S T O O L E. I'm sorry, y'all. It is four o'clock, which means our pool reservation is ready. So we are about to go swim six feet away from each other. We love you. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Done. That was cute. That was cute as hell. Oh, oh, oh. I did my initial. I do. So what I do is I do glue, 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 glue. Circle, circle, circle. My widow's peak and my little side bees. Short for Burns. Mr. Burns. I call this one Mr. Burns and this one Mrs. Burns. Excellent. Isn't watching glue dry fun? Casa ole, ole. Fresh today, ole. Every day, ole. Casa ole, ole. Yeah, I've been telling interesting interesting stories this whole time. When I was little, when we went to the Grand Canyon, mm -hmm. bragging, we were over like the ledge looking down into it and my dad picked me up and swung me over the ledge. He thought that would be fun for me. It was awful. He thought that was so fun. He thought, dog on a leash. He thought, oh, I can control this. No, you never have complete control over everything. You swing me, maybe I'm sweaty and you drop me and I'm dead. And maybe this is this is actually hell. Maybe I am dead. What a terrible way to go. I'd rather go some, some way like that than like have pain be involved. You don't think that would be, you don't think it wouldn't be painful? Uh, I mean, it depends on how you land. I'm just doing the inside corner. I can't really do my tight lining, whatever, because I cry it off anyways. Yeah, what the heck, let's try it. <laughs>